Still in Borno State, as part of activities marking this year's Army Day celebration, the General Officer Commanding 7th Division of the Nigerian Army, Brigadier General Abubakar Haruna, has launched a palliative distribution exercise to 40 widows of fallen heroes who died in the line of duty. Senior reporter Jesse Tafida again reports. Adarju Meduku is a widow with two children. Her husband died while fighting Boko Haram insurgents. I got a call from Ami that they knew to see me. And you know, when they called you, your husband is out. There is no good news about it. Life has not been easy, but we thank God for life. My kids are doing okay, they are fine. I'm trying my best to take care of them because uh, sometimes when things happen, when you are still strong, you work hard for you to give the best for your children. Adarju is happy to be among today's beneficiaries. Yeah, I'm very happy. Um, I don't know how to thank uh, Brigadier General Haruna. He has really taken care of us and uh, there is nobody that will come that he needed help, that he will turn his back on you. I really thank him. I thank all the Nigerian Army. It's because of Nigerian Army he is here. We thank him for putting a smile on our face. These are the widows also benefited from the gesture, just as Adarju. General Officer Commanding 7th Division, Nigerian Army, say this is in commemoration of the 2024 Army Day celebration. Remember, we are always here for you. If you have problems, try and bring them forward. Don't keep, don't keep them to yourself. Because if you keep them, nobody will help you. Make them known to us. You have channels through which you can forward all these things. All right? This gesture will be extended to other widows, according to the GOC. The Nigerian army have continued to put their lives on the line in protecting the territorial integrity of the nation. In doing that, most of them have paid the supreme prize. Government and the military have continued to support the widows and offers of the fallen heroes and Nigerians have been urged to follow suit in putting a smile on the faces of the families they left behind. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.